Thank you, worship team. You're amazing. Tak, Lars Bank. I er fantastisk. So, you might be wondering why am I wearing green? Vi tænker måske på hvorfor jeg har en ring på. It's because Nej, grøn, grøn. This weekend we were celebrating the Mexican independence. Så fordi vi fejrede yeah. Mexikos uafhængighed. So, yes, I was like, okay, I'm Mexican, so I should. Så jeg, ja, jeg er mexicaner, så jeg burde. <laughs> so, I'm happy to be here again with you. Jeg er glad for at være her igen sammen med jer. And I prepared some slides. Jeg har forberedt nogle slides. Um, and today I think that or I feel in my heart that it's um, that God or the Holy Spirit wants to teach us how to pray. Jeg føler at Helion gerne vil vise os hvordan man skal bede. Because sometimes uh, We we feel like oh I have prayed for this but it's not happening so what should I do? For nogle gange så føler vi at vi burde bede for det her men det sker ikke rigtigt så hvad skal jeg gøre? Do I know how to pray or not? Har jeg ikke lyst til at bede eller hvad? So I was um, reading and then I find out about something. Så jeg læser så fandt jeg ud af noget. So in Matthew 6:9. Så i Matthæus 6:9. It says. Um, der står der. This then is how you should pray. Det er sådan her du skal be. Our Father in heaven. Vor far i himlen. May your holy name be honored. Helligt være dit navn. And this is Jesus talking. Og det er det Jesus der snakker. It was Jesus teaching us how to pray. Det var Jesus der lærte os hvordan vi skulle be. So <laughs> he wanted to show us the way to talk with God. Så han ønskede os at vise os vejen på hvordan vi skal snakke med Gud. He wanted to show us how we should talk to our father. Hvordan vi skal tale med vores far. Because before Jesus came, Fordi før Jesus han kom, everyone were uh, talking to God like uh, Lord. Snakkede alle folk til Herren som Herre. But, but not like father. Men ikke som far. So Jesus wanted to teach us like okay, now I I came to tell you or to teach you that you have a father in heaven. Så Jesus han kom ligesom for at lære dem, at I har en far i himmel. And I think that sometimes we just need to understand or to know how our father is. Jeg tror nogle gange så har vi brug for at forstå hvordan vores far han er. Because according to the image you have of your heavenly father. Fordi ud fra det billede du har af din himmelske far. Is the way you will communicate with him. Er den måde som du vil kommunikere med ham. If you have the image that a uh, God is uh, that God that will be punish you all the time. Hvis du har dit billede af Gud som en der vil straffe dig hele tiden. Then you will be afraid of him. Så vil du være bange for ham. And instead of coming to him. Og i stedet for at komme hen til ham. You would like to run away. <laughs> så vil du have lyst til at flygte. Because you're afraid. Fordi du er bange. But if we can read the Bible. Men hvis vi kan læse Bibelen. And like find the characteristics of our heavenly Father og finde den himmelske fars kan find out that he is a lovely father. Så kan vi finde ud af at han er en el- han er en far der elsker. We find out that he, that he is almighty. Og han er almægtig. We find out that he is always present. Og han er altid nærværende. That he is always with us. Han er altid sammen med os. That he is um, that his mercy it's huge. At hans nåde den er enorm. And no matter what happen, og ligegyldigt hvad der sker. We can always come back to him. Så kan vi altid komme tilbage til ham. So, uh, in Matthew 7:9. I Matteus 7 kan vers 9. Uh, it says, "Would any of you who are fathers give your son a stone when he asks for bread? Or would you give him a snake when he asks for a fish? As bad as you are, you know how to give good things to your children." How much more then will your father in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Wow. So it's just about to ask. <laughs> so det handler bare om at spørge. Because it says it's not me saying it. It's det er ikke in the mig, Bible. Der siger. Det står der. How much then will your father in heaven 
Hvor meget mere vil din far i himlen? Give good things to those who ask. Give gode ting til dem der spørger. Then Philippians 4:19. I Filipperne 4:19. This is Paul talking. Det, det er Paulus der snakker. And he says, and with all his abundant wealth through Christ Jesus, my God will supply all your needs. So, Paul, he was working with Jesus. So Paulus han arbejder sammen med Jesus. Therefore he knew Jesus. Det er derfor han kendte ham. So in the same way he also knew the father. Så på den samme måde så kendte han også faderen. Because Jesus said if you want to see the father like look at me. <laughs> Fordi Jesus han sagde hvis du vil se faderen så kig på mig. If you want to know who the father is or how uh, our father is. Hvis du vil vide hvordan vores far han er. Look at me. Så kig på mig. Because I am just like he is. Fordi jeg er ligesom han er. So in that way så på den måde sometimes we just need to like um, refocus <laughs> the image we have of our father. Der er nogle gange, hvor vi ligesom nødt til at få noget mere skarphed på vores billede af vores I far. I have uh, some characteristics of God. Jeg har nogle karakteristikker af vores far. Next slide. Okay, it's uh, that he is omnipotent. Ja, han er omnipotent, altså almægtig. He is omniscient. Omniscient, alt vidende. Uh, omnipresent. Og alle steds nærværende. He is everywhere. Han er alle steder. If he is all powerful, hvis han er almægtig, there's nothing impossible for him. Så er der intet der er umuligt for ham. If he knows all, hvis han ved alt, then he knows that at the end of every situation challenge trial that we go through så ved han at igennem en hvilken som helst svær tid vi går igennem there is victory så er der sejr because in the bible says that when jesus died on the cross i bibelen siger at jesus han døde på korset he gave us the victory gav han os sejren he gave us authority han gav os autoritet he gave us power han gav os kraft but we 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 can use it og vi kan bruge det because it's ours for det er vores because jesus he suffered he died So we could have it. For Jesus han led og han for for vi kunne få det. Because that was our place in that cross. Fordi det var vores sted han tog på korset. But he took our place. Men han tog vores sted. Because he loves us so much. Fordi han elsker os så meget. So if we know our father, hvis vi kender vores far, then we will know that he is a loving father. Så vil vi vide han er en kærlig far that he is not judging us at han ikke dømmer os or pointing at us og peger på os but he is loving us men han elsker os he is teaching us how to be like him og han lærer os at være ligesom ham in the way that he is helping us through the holy spirit den måde han hjælper os igennem helligånden to guide our lives til at guide vores liv and our thoughts og vores tanker because if we can believe that our father is a good father for hvis vi kan tro at vores far han er en god far then no matter the situation we go through så ligegyldigt hvad for en situation vi går igennem we will we will believe and we will know that he will turn it into my good så vi vide at han vil gøre det til noget godt this is just temporary det er kun midler til because i know that when i just pass this season for jeg ved når jeg kommer over den her sæson he will show me what was the purpose of it så han viser mig formålet med det and my faith will grow og min tro den vil vokse because i will see how faithful he is fordi jeg vil se hvor trofast han er mm, and sometimes there are situations that for us are like super difficult or hard nogle gange er der situationer der er meget svære and sometimes we're like Oh god, are you really with me? <laughs> og nogle gange så står vi i den situation, og ah gud, er du virkelig med mig? Uh, I I cannot see you, feel you in this situation. <laughs> Jeg kan ikke se dig eller mærke dig i den her situation. But sometimes it's necessary to go through those situations. Men nogle gange er det nødvendigt at gå igennem de situationer. Because God he promised that he will be with us. Fordi Gud han lovede os at han vil være med os. Every single day of our lives. Hver eneste dag af vores liv. And I I just remember Jesus. Og jeg husker lige Jesus. 
before he was uh, crucified. Før han blev korsfæstet. And he was going through a difficult situation. Og han var i gang med at gå igennem en svær situation. I mean giving his life and all of that suffering that he had to uh, go through. Altså han skulle give hans liv og alt den lidelse han gik igennem. It, it wasn't simple. Det var ikke nemt. I think it was hard. <laughs> Jeg tror det var svært. And when he was praying. Og da han bad. He said, "My father." Så han min far. If it's possible. Hvis det er muligt. Let this cup of suffering be taken away from me. Så lad det her glas gå mig forbi. But then he says that, "Jed, I want your will to be done." Men så stod der, "Dog vil jeg have din vilje skal ske." Not mine. Ikke min. Wow. So he <laughs> he decided to take all of that suffering. Så han besluttede sig for at tage alt den lidelse. Because he knew that what the result will be. Fordi han kendte resultatet efterfølgende. He knew that the result will be that <laughs> You and me will be saved. Han vidste at resultatet ville være at dig og mig vi kunne blive frelst. He knew that the result of him giving his life and going through all of that suffering. Han vidste at resultatet igen at gå alt igennem alt den lidelse. Will we you and me having the opportunity to go before the father? Vil være at dig og mig vil få muligheden for at gå op foran faderen. With no restriction. Uden forhindring. In the way that we have free access to him. På den måde vi vil have fri adgang til ham. That's what Jesus knew. Og det var det Jesus han vidste. He knew that that was the result. Han vidste det var resultatet. The result was victory. Der var sejren. Because he knew <laughs> well, he knew his father. Han kendte hans far. And he knew that he is all that he's powerful. Og han vidste at han var mægtig. It means that he can do anything. Og han kan gøre alt. So he knew that okay, he will resurrect me. Så han vidste ligesom han vil um, Genopleve mig. Because he is my father. Fordi han er min far. And he loves me. Og han elsker mig. He created all of this world. Han skabte <laughs> hele den her verden. So for sure he has the power. Så han er helt sikkert. Kraft. So if we can understand this. Så hvis vi kan forstå det her. If we can like take it. Hvis vi kan tage det. And believe it. Og tro på det. Så like okay God. Og sige okay Gud. I don't know what's going on. Jeg ved ikke hvad der sker. But I trust you. Men jeg stoler på dig. I know that the result. Jeg ved resultatet. Will be all the promises you have given to me. Bliver alle de løfter som du har givet mig. I know that the result. Jeg ved resultatet. Is going to be victory. Det bliver sejr. We don't know how long it will take. Jeg ved ikke hvor lang tid det vil tage. But we know that our father is with us. Men vi ved vores far er med os. Um, in Daniel 10, i Daniel kapitel 10, there is a story. Der er en historie. And it's super interesting. Og den er meget interessant. If you, you I uh, encourage you to read it. Jeg vil gerne opmuntre jer til at læse den. Because it's really, really For den er virkelig, virkelig god. I don't have time to go into too much detail. Jeg har ikke tid til at gå for meget ind i detaljerne. But I would like to just go through it. Men jeg vil gerne have I læser det. Super fast. <laughs> Meget hurtigt. So, um, Daniel, he was praying for the people of Israel. Daniel, han bad for Israels folk. And in the Bible says that he, he was uh, praying for three weeks. Og Bibelen siger, at han bad i tre uger. And in that time, he wasn't just praying. Og i den tid, der bad han ikke kun. He was, he was like crying out. Han råbte nærmest like, ud. Father, please. Like, you know, with that. Um, jeg, jeg ved, det er toneleje. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it says that he was waiting for the answer. Og så står der, at han ventede på svaret. He was praying for the whole nation. Han bad for hele nationen. And it seemed that the answer didn't come. <laughs> Og det virkede, som om svaret ikke rigtig kom. But it was Daniel. It was Daniel. Og det var Daniel. He, he was Daniel. Him var Daniel. Like he have experienced many miraculous things from God. Han havde set mange mirakuløse ting fra Gud. But at that point he was still waiting for the answer. Men på det tidspunkt her, der ventede han stadig på svaret. And then it says that um, suddenly one day. 
Så lige pludselig en dag. In is chapter 10 verse 10 if you want to follow me here. Kapitel, ja, kapitel 10 vers 10 hvis I gerne vil følge med. It says that someone touch touch uh, his shoulder. Der var nogen der rørte ved hans skulder. And said. Og sagde. Listen, listen. Daniel. Daniel. You who are highly esteemed. Dig som er højt set. Wow. That's wow. <laughs> Imagine uh, the father saying Prøv at forestille jer, far. Ruben, Daniel, uh, Klaus. Prøv at forestille jer, faren sige. Who are highly esteemed. Den, som er højt set. Wow. You can put your name in that. Du kan skrive dit eget navn ind. And then he said. Og så sagde han. Daniel. Daniel. Don't be afraid. Vær ikke bange. God has heard your prayers. Gud har hørt dine bønder. Ever since the first day. Lige siden den første dag. You decided ever the first day you decided to humble yourself. Lige siden den første dag hvor du besluttede dig for at ydmyge dig selv. In order to gain understanding. For at få forståelse. I have come in answer to your prayer. Og så har jeg kommet som et svar på dine bønder. So what what he is saying is that Så det han siger det er Since you decided to humble yourself and ask me for help. Siden du besluttede for at ydmyge dig selv og bede mig om hjælp. I have sent the answer. Så har jeg sendt svar. Wow. I think that there are many prayers that we have done that God, God have sent the answer. Jeg tror der er mange bønder vi har sendt ud hvor svaret er kommet. But of course in that period while we are waiting. Men selvfølgelig den tid hvor vi venter. We can be disappointed or der, feel sad. Der kan vi blive triste eller Because we we cannot see the the answer. Fordi vi kan ikke se svaret. But what Daniel did. Men det Daniel han gjorde. He kept praying. Han blev ved med at bede. And asking God and believing God. Og spørge Gud og tro på Gud. And one day. Og en dag. The answer came. Så kom svaret. Then. Hmm, verse 14. Vers 14. It says, uh, I have come to make you understand what will happen to your people in the future. Der står, jeg er kommet for at få dig til at forstå, hvad der vil ske med dit folk i fremtiden. He said, this is a vision about the future. Det her er en vision omkring fremtiden. And then, it says that uh, Daniel, when, when he heard that, og der står der, at Daniel han hørte det, he started, uh, he, he, he was just looking at the ground, der kiggede han ned på jorden, and he was speechless, og han var uden ord. And then it says this. Og så står then, det her. Then the angel who looked like a human being. Og så engen som lignede et menneske. Reach out and touch his uh, my lips. Uh, rakte ud og rørte ved hans læbe. I said to him. Og jeg sagde til ham. Sir, this vision makes me so weak that I cannot stop trembling. Trumble. Her den her den her vision den gør mig så svag at jeg ikke kan stoppe med at ryste. So. I don't know how many times we jeg, have been before the presence of God. Jeg ved ikke hvor mange gange vi har været foran Guds nærvær. And maybe we we can almost feel that God is doing something. Måske vi næsten mærker at Gud han gør et eller andet. But suddenly Men something pludselig, happens. Der sker der noget. And we feel like we cannot open our mouth anymore. Og så føler vi at vi kan åbne munden mere. That maybe we cannot keep worshiping. Måske så kan vi ikke fortsætte med at tilbe. Like we know that something is God is doing something. Vi ved Gud han gør et eller andet. But but just right now, just right in that moment. Men lige det øjeblik. We are like we want to pray again. Vi gerne bede igen. We want to worship God. Vi gerne tilbe Gud. But it feels like we cannot do it. Men det føles som om vi ikke kan gøre det. But then the Holy Spirit comes. Men så kommer Helligånden. And suddenly, og lige pludselig, we have the strength again. Har vi styrken igen? To pray. Til at bede. We have the strength again to worship God. Vi har styrken til at tilbe igen. Then it says, um, så står der. Mm, Daniel he said, I have no strength or breath left in me. Daniel han sagde, jeg har ikke mere styrke eller åndedrag tilbage i mig. In the Bible says that Daniel uh, for those three weeks he da- didn't eat meat. 
der står, at Daniel han ikke spiste noget kød i de like, tre uger. Like he didn't eat uh, luxury meals. <laughs> Or, yeah. 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 Um, so, of course, his body, in his body he was weak. Så so selvfølgelig, hans krop, den var svag. Mm, and then, verse 18, it says, Og i vers 18 står der, uh, Once more, he took hold of me, and I felt stronger. Han tog igen fat i mig, og så følte jeg mig stærkere. And he said, Han sagde, God loves you. Gud elsker dig. So don't let anything worry you. Så lad ikke noget bekymre dig. Or frighten you. Eller skræmme dig. Wow. I think that today we can be Daniel. Jeg tror i dag, der kan vi godt være Daniel. I would like to be Daniel today. Jeg vil gerne være Daniel i dag. And I would like to hear the Holy Spirit saying this to me. Jeg vil gerne høre Helion sige det her til mig. God loves you. Gud elsker dig. So don't let anything worry you. Så lad intet bekymre or dig. Or frighten you. Eller skræmme dig. Then it says, when he said this. Og står da han sagde det. I felt even stronger. Følte jeg mig endnu stærkere. And said, sir, tell me what you have to say. Og sag, herre, fortæl mig hvad du har at sige. You have made me feel better. Du har fået mig til at have det bedre. So, when I was reading to this story, så da jeg læste den her historie, I, I could relate. Der kunne jeg relatere til det. Because sometimes we we believe God and we trust God. For nogle gange så tror vi på Gud og vi stoler på ham. We have faith. Vi har tro. But sometimes it feels like uh, we don't know what is going on. Men nogle gange føles det som om vi ikke rigtig ved hvad der foregår. But if we can believe, men hvis vi kan tro, that we have a father, at vi har vores far, that he hears our prayers, og at han hører vores bønner, even before we say it, selv før vi siger det, then I think that we will be safe. <laughs> Så tror jeg at vi kan være sikre. Because for sure we know that he is taking care of us. For det er helt sikkert, at han tager sig af os. But it's just like if we can believe. Det handler bare om, hvis vi kan tro. If we can, like, take the wrong picture of the father. Hvis vi kan få taget det forkerte billede, vi har af faderen. And set the right picture. Og sætte det rigtige father, billede af ham ind. Then everything will be different. Så vil alt være anderledes. Because if we can believe it. Fordi hvis vi kan tro det. We can see it. Så kan vi se det. Maybe it will take one week, two weeks, one month. Det kan være, det tager <laughs> en uge, to uger, en måned. Two years, to five år, years, fem år. Never know. <laughs> Man ved det aldrig. But for sure, we know that God is with us. Men vi ved helt sikkert, at Gud han er med os. And we have the hope that at the end, no matter what, we have the victory. Og vi har det håb om, at i enden, så har vi sejr. And if we can take this process or yeah as um a lesson as we can take det her som en lektion som en lektie then we can we can learn så kan vi lære we can get stronger in our faith vi kan blive stærkere i vores tro and we can encourage others too og vi kan opmuntre andre we can encourage our brothers and sisters and say hey i've been there vi kan opmuntre vores brødre og søstre og sige, der har jeg også været. Don't worry. Bekymrer jeg ikke. God loves you. Gud elsker jer. Don't be afraid. Vær ikke bange. God have heard your prayers. Gud har hørt dine bønder. And he will come to you. Og han vil komme til dig. He will touch your lips. Han vil røre dine læber. So you will be able to worship and pray again. Så at du vil kunne tilbe. He will give you the strength you need. Han giver dig styrken du har brug for. And you will see the miracle. Og du vil se miraklet. Then at the end it says. Til sidst siger den. Um, he said, Do you han, know why I came to you? Ved du hvorfor jeg kom til dig? It is to reveal to you what is written in the book of truth. Det er for at åbenbare til dig hvad der er skrevet i sandhedens bog. Wow. And that book of truth is the Bible right now. Og den sandhedens bog, det er Bibelen. So 
If you want to know, så hvis du ønsker at vide, who your, your father is, hvem din far han er, how he is, hvordan han er, and who you are in him, og hvem du er i ham, <laughs> then we need to read the book of truth. Så er vi nødt til at læse sandhedens bog. We need to read the Bible. Vi er nødt til at læse Bibelen. We need to find out what is written there about you and me. Vi er nødt til at finde ud af, hvad der står skrevet om dig og mig. And there is um, one Bible verse that I like. Der er et bibelvers, jeg rigtig godt kan lide. So if if you if you don't remember anything of what I said. Hvis du ikke kan huske noget af det, som jeg lige har sagt. Please remember this. Så husk det her. Romans 8:34. Romerbrevet kapitel 8 vers 34. If you want to write it down, Hvis du gerne vil skrive det ned, så er du velkommen til. Because sometimes it's okay. good to take notes. For nogle gange så er det godt at tage noter. This is really really good. Det her det er virkelig virkelig godt. Are you ready to hear? Er I klar til at høre? Okay. Mm. Who then is the one who condemns? Hvem er den som dømmer? No one. Der er ikke nogen. Christ Jesus who died. Jesus Kristus som døde. And more than that, who was raised to life. Som var løftet tilbage til livet. Listen, listen. Is at the right hand of God. Er ved Guds højre hånd. And is also interceding for us. Og han står i forbøn for os. Wow. So So Jesus he he went through all of that suffering. Så Jesus han gik igennem alt det her lidelse. He knew what was the result of that. Han kendte resultatet. But there is just like an extra. Men der er ligesom noget ekstra. That he is now sitting next to the father. For der han sidder nu ved siden af faren. At the right hand. Ved hans højre hånd. And he's interceding for us. Og han er i forbøn for os. When you pray, når du beder, when you ask God for something, når du beder Gud om noget, you are not praying alone. Så beder du ikke alene. We have the Holy Spirit that guides us how to pray. Vi har Helligånden der guider os i at bede. <laughs> But we also have Jesus. Men vi har også Jesus. And he's sitting right next to the Father. Og han sidder lige ved siden af Faren. And he's saying like, "Hey Father." Og han siger, "Hey Far." Listen. Prøv at høre. They are asking you something. De spørger dig om noget. Hey father. Far, prøv at høre. Listen. Hør. They they are talking to you. De taler til dig. Hey father. Hey far. They need help. De har brug for hjælp. Hey father. Hey far. Listen to your church. Hør på din kirke. <gasps> oh, I can hear Bible and Mission Center praying. Jeg kan høre Bible og Mission Center de beder. Father. Far. Please come. Kom nu. And listen. Og hør. See. Se. See how they are worshiping you. Se hvordan de tilbeder dig. You listen to what they are asking. Hør hvad de beder om. So it's not that we are just praying. Så det er ikke at vi bare beder. Uh-uh. Nej. Jesus himself is interceding for us. Jesus han er i forbøn for os. So can you play the guitar? So i I would like to close. So again, lugge. With us praying. Med at vi beder. And worshiping a little bit. Og tilbeder en lille smule. I don't know if maybe you are tired. Jeg ved ikke om du måske er træt. I hope not. Det håber jeg ikke. <laughs> But if we can stand up. Men hvis vi kan rejse os op. Okay, I'm going to say something. Maybe it's like a it will sound like a tongue twist. Jeg vil sige noget som måske lyder som en tunge twist. But it's not. Men det er det. Okay. Prayers that have been not prayed. Bønder som ikke er blevet bedt. Are prayers? Er bønder. That cannot be responded. Som ikke kan blive svaret. So. So. We need to pray. Så vi nødt til at bede. Because if we are waiting for God to answer, for if we are waiting for God to inter, in, interfere in some situation, if we are waiting for God to come and handle, we need to pray. So we need to pray. We need to ask Him. 
Vi nødt til at spørge ham. We need to go before our father. Vi nødt til at gå ind foran vores far. Not afraid of him. Uh-uh. Ikke, ikke sådan nogen, der er bange for ham. Because he's a loving father. Fordi han er en far, der elsker. And he's willing to respond. Og han er villig til at svare. He's willing to help us. Han er villig til at hjælpe os. So I would like to to pray. Så jeg gerne bede. But also I I will ask you to to bring to your mind. Vil jeg også bede jer om ligesom at få det frem i hovedet. The prayers you have done. Om de bønder som du allerede har bedt. And maybe you haven't seen the answer yet. Og som du måske ikke har set svaret på endnu. But I believe that the Holy Spirit today. Men jeg tror på helgen i dag. Will tell you what is going on. <laughs> vil fortælle dig hvad der sker. I believe that he will tell you, hey, keep praying, the answer have been sent. Jeg tror på at han vil sige, hey, bliv ved med at bede, svaret det er sendt. But I have sent all the angels. Jeg har sendt alle englene. To open the way. Til at åbne vejen. So the answer can just be right there with you. Så svaret det kan være lige der midt i blandt. And I believe that the Holy Spirit will do that today. Og jeg tror på helgen om vi gør det i dag. I believe he will tell you what you are asking for. Jeg tror på at han fortæller det som du har bedt for. And sometimes the answer is not what we want. Og nogle gange så er svaret ikke det vi ønsker. But it's what we need. Men det er det vi har brug for. Because our Father he knows us best. Fordi vores far han kender os bedre. He knows what we need. Han ved hvad vi har brug for. He knows what is best for us. Og han ved hvad der er bedst for os. Because we saw one of his characteristics is that he knows everything. Vi så en af hans karakteristikker som er at han ved alt. So let's let's pray. Så so, lad os bede. So Father Far Thank you for all your goodness. Tak for al din godhed. Thank you for everything you have done in our lives. Tak for alt hvad du har gjort i vores liv. Thank you for everything you have done in our families. Tak for alt du gjorde i vores familie. And right now Holy Spirit. Og lige nu Helligånd. I ask you Holy Spirit to touch our hearts. Bed dig om at røre vores hjerter. I ask you Holy Spirit to come right now. Jeg beder Helligånd kom lige nu. <laughs> in the Bible says that you are like a wind. Bibelen siger at du er som en vind. It says like you are like a fire. Ligesom en ild. And we want to experience you. Og vi ønsker at erfare dig. In a higher level today. På et højere niveau i dag. We want to hear your voice. Vi ønsker at høre din stemme. Deeper than before. Dybere end før. Father, right now. Far lige nu. Remind us all the prayers we have done. Mind us om alle de bønder som vi har bedt. And also remind us all the answers you have given. Og mind os også om alle de svar du har givet. And Father, we believe. Far, vi tror på. And we trust. Og vi stoler på. That you are in the midst of everything. At du er i midten af alt. No matter what we are going through. Ligegyldigt hvad vi går igennem. <laughs> we believe that you are with us. Tror på at du er med os. Because it's your promise. Fordi det er dit løfte. And you fulfill all your promises. At du fuldbyrder alle dine løfter. I pray right now, Father. Jeg beder lige nu, far. That all that my brothers and sisters are praying for. At alt hvad mine brødre og søstre de beder om. I ask you, Holy Spirit. Jeg beder dig, Helligånd. To bring a clear answer right now. At komme et klart svar lige nu. I ask you, Holy Spirit. Jeg beder dig, Helligånd. To surround them right now. At omringe dem lige nu. With your peace. Med din fred. <laughs> With your love. Med din kærlighed. With your joy. Med din glæde. Right now, Holy Spirit. Lige nu, Helligånd. Right now, Holy Spirit. Lige nu, Helligånd. Don't let anyone to leave this place without experiencing you. Lad ikke nogen forlade det her sted uden at de erfarer dig. Don't let anyone, Holy Spirit, to leave this place without having an encounter with your presence. Lad ingen gå for det her sted uden at have et møde med dit nærvær. We want to worship you, Father. Vi ønsker at tilbede dig, Far. And we want to say thank you. Vi vil gerne sige tak. Thank you for everything you have done. Tak for alt hvad du har gjort. Thank you for everything you will do. Og for alt hvad du vil gøre. <laughs> And we cannot wait to see. Og vi kan vi, vi kan ikke vente med at se. What you are going to do in hvad, our lives. Hvad du vil gøre i vores liv.